Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Mother's Day action on the show. The Atlanta Braves taking on the San Francisco Giants. First pitch coming your way next. And now here is Gerald Raymond crushing the ball in this series. So far he's picked up six extra base hits. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Hammer, and this one could be extra bases. And it kicks off the base of the wall. Lead runner holds it third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. And that keeps his hitting streak going. He's making this look way easier than it is, Boog. Setting the record is hard enough, but to keep up in it every day like he is, I don't really know what to say anymore. At this point, it honestly feels like it's never going to end. Absolutely remarkable. And here is Julio Rodriguez. Next pitch is inside. And a count two and one. One down, runners at second and third. Hey, needs you right here. One time. Let's go. That one back up the middle and it gets through. One run is in. Now two runs score. And they lead by two. Back-to-back right -back base hits. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now at the plate, Adolfo Hernandez. Batting six. The third baseman, Adolfo Hernandez. And the right hater deals. Left field. Mine, mine, mine. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder the coming open base. instead of sticking. Gerald Raymond next up for the Braves. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And first offering is fouled off. Into left center for a base hit. Here comes Stevenson around third. Long with a relay throw. Tag. Too late. He scores. And they're up by three. Well done. Drives in the run. That ball was drilled. 106 off the bat. And that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Julio Rodriguez. Kicks and deals. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. Hey, kids, see it. Drive it like you can. Let's go. Uh, nice Lined, nice and run. that's a base hit. In to score is the runner from third, and it's 4 nothing. Picks himself up in RBI. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. One down. Gerald Raymond now at the plate. Now batting. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal you a bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent. 
Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Bang! His 38th of the year, and they add on. It's 9-0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. Man at first, Gerald Raymond. Next up for the Braves. Oh, oh yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. Come back to the mound. The throw to second throw to first but he beat it Julio Rodriguez next up for the Braves good contact guy good defender here comes the pitch runner breaks for a second and a foul ball two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off hey get a good one up there huh and the pitch. Runner, runner, runner. runner on the go again. Lifted in the air, right field. Sierra under it. And there's two away. Now batting. The center fielder, Cody Bellinger. And next for Atlanta, right Cody now, Bellinger. Right? A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Escobar picks over and he's back safely. Raymond off of first with two away. Let's go now. One time. The one two runner on the go. Ball misses. Throw there. Safe. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang bang play. Statcast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. The 2-2. Two -two. And another ball. See it, drive it right here. Come on, big. And here's a 3-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Hey, come on now. One time right here. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And there's a foul ball. Come on, big guy. See you drive it. See you drive it. Here comes a three two. And that's ball, ball four. four. Thank you, babe. Just missed there. Ooh. How would you describe your strike zone? Kind of like a weeble, large. Michael Harris will hit next. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. And a count one and two. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker, get that front foot down. Two on, two outs. The other way. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Runner from second scores as they add on. And it's a double-digit lead as they're up by 10. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now batting the shortstop, Brian Rocchio. Runner at first with two away. Gerald Raymond getting ready to hit. 
He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. In the air, left side, Del VR going back, back some more, grabs it on the run, and that's the inning. So they pick up a run. Two outs, runner at first. And now it's the Giants DH. Jaron Duran, one for two. That's to third. They get the force, and that is the inning. One left for San Francisco. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. here in San Francisco. So bottom of the ninth, here's Elliot Ramos. Leading up for the Giants. The center field. And the righty deals. And he drops it down the third baseline. And he can't come up with it. And he'll be safe at first. Here's the third baseman, Adolfo Hernandez. Nobody on, nobody out. Here in the last half of inning number nine. And a bunt towards third. Tosses across the first. Got him as he tried to bunt his way aboard. Man, he made that look easy, didn't he? I mean, there's nothing simple about that play, Boog, especially when you break it down. But right there, everything was done in one fluid motion to deliver a strike over to first just in time for the out. I'll tell you, I could watch that all day. Here in the bottom of the ninth, one out. And now Shed Long will get a chance to hit. Bounce to third. Throw over to Stevenson. And they're down to their last out. So a well thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Well, a big win by eight runs, and when you have that kind of lead, you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead. So nice job today all the way around to get the W. And your final, 11-3 to three for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.